everybody. Welcome back. Today we're going to make a propeller. Now, your car at this point should look like what you see on the screen. It should have your wheels attached. It should have the motor mount attached. You're going to take your third piece of straw and attach it to the motor mount. You just need a couple pieces of tape for that. Make sure you have a bit of an overhang. Otherwise, your propeller will hit the back wheel. Now, measure out your axle for the propeller probably about a centimeter one and a half centimeters or so and you're gonna make another one of those L bends now the difference is gonna be at the other end you're going to make a small hook now that hook should be small enough that it actually will fit through the tube like you can see here and still be able to spin around now this just barely makes it so be careful with that now if you find your axle is too long for the tube you go ahead and clip the tube off a little bit in length and that should be able to take care of the problem grab a small note card what you want to do is find the red line and count down two blue lines and cut along that second blue line that'll give you the just about the perfect size for the propeller anything larger than that will not be allowed and now you have a rectangle take a ruler Put the ruler corner to corner. So from a diagonal corner to another diagonal to a corner, and you're going to draw a line roughly in the middle. Do the same from the other two corners. And right there is the center of that rectangle. Pretty cool, huh? Grab a compass. Compass, punch a hole in that center. Then what I like to do is to trim a notch on either side of the center. That's totally unnecessary. However, I like to do it, just give my finger something to grab onto, then you need to bend the propeller. If you don't bend the propeller, the propeller is not going to move any air. Just like when you take your hand and you go straight up and down with it, you don't feel much air movement, but if you turn your hand sideways, flat up and down towards the floor and move it up and down on the floor, you're going to feel quite a bit of air movement. Then I tape the propeller at the center, stick it through the tube, it should spin perfectly. You can see it spinning nicely there. And this is a real important thing. It needs to be able to come out of the tube. Here you say I'm having a little bit of trouble, but it does come out, so I'm good to go. Rubber bands. Um, I don't know. I kind of like them when they're a little bit thicker. But you can try. I mean, rubber bands make a huge difference. I mean, that is something you really need to test. Okay, what I like to do, go like this. Okay. Take an end, pull it through. Okay, you're probably gonna need at least three, but again, this is something that you really need to experiment with. This is where it really makes a difference. Different rubber bands, different propellers. That's why the propeller is built to slide out so you can change it. I mean, you should make several propellers. Okay, that's going to go on like this. Now we forgot to put the front on. You bend that at about a 30 degree angle. And the trick to this is you pinch it and then it slides right in. Can you see that? That slides right in. You don't need any tape, don't need any glue. Should you tape it? Nope. No need to. It's in there nice and tight. Unless your body tube is really loose. Then you got this. Okay, then, all right. Then what you need to do is figure out which way to, to wind this. Now, if I wind it this way, it's going to spin this way. Is that the good way to do it? No, because you want the cutting edge to go into the air. So I need to spin it this way. And the neat thing about this is if it goes backwards, that's a good thing. Just spin it the other way. And then, let's see if it works. It moves. Okay. So, what I like to do, just to remind myself, I like to draw an arrow. Show me which way to spin it. And when I spin it, when I wind it, I like to hold it like this, because that supports the motor mount, because that's going to collapse if you do it too much. And then I like to hold it upside down like this, because then the rubber bands are less likely to tangle up. Okay. Now, all right, and you're going to wind it a lot, 
And if you don't get any motion, bend the propeller more. That, that's, I'm not going to show you that because that's something I want you to try out. So try out different propellers, etc., etc. You now have a functioning car. What you need to do now is experiment, experiment with different rubber bands, with different propellers, with different releasing styles. That's a big part of this project is to experiment, to test. Now one word of caution, however, once you get your car to where you want it, to where you're really happy with its performance, stop using it until the performance date because you can overuse these air cars. They are just made out of note cards, especially the propellers can start getting soft and floppy and they just don't work as well. Be careful kids. Bye.